What is up, guys? It is another good day on the Plymouth, uh, outside chilling. Keep your eyes peeled for the rat. We get a quarter panel knocked out, and we get the Plymouth on the lift, which is huge progress because I've needed that thing on the lift for uh, weeks. Uh, then we can start working on the body swap after today, probably. Check it out. I got, oh, hit my head. Got this little piece made up real quick. Ground that down to bare metal. It's not the best, but it's gonna hit that right there and burn it in. And that will support this uh, front pillar to the uh, inner rocker. Some of this we'll probably have to get trimmed back out later after I get the car up off the frame. But for now, I just want to tie everything together, make it happen. So let's get that zapped in there. We're just piling it on there. That ain't the prettiest, but that's okay. Well, that's gonna be much better. Now I'm gonna do the other side now. Same thing. Had to get the wheels back off the Caprice. They I borrowed those from that Lincoln as donors, but I've got to get some uh, different wheels to slap on this because the ones off that Lincoln were too wide anyway. I don't think they'd fit underneath the uh, the Plymouth. Uh, and then you know I got to tackle like this rat's nest of wiring and all that. But let's get back inside, get that Lincoln on the ground, and then we're good to go. I'm wrapping up for the night, but I did spend a couple hours goofing off making another quarter panel for some reason, mainly because I didn't have time to get to the Plymouth, which I'm going to hopefully spend my entire day on tomorrow. Next day, back on the quarter panel. All right, so I've kind of whipped up this goofy quarter panel, I guess. Uh, it's really not looking too bad. I don't, I just split it where I need it to fold it. Same back here. And then I'll cut it and weld it and make sure it's all butt welded. And then I'll unclamp it, flip it over and weld the inside. So far, it's really not terrible looking though, but it's not great. Um, the reason I went ahead and did this is because on the car, on the lift, uh, this quarter panel still sagging a lot. You can't really 
tell on camera, but when I lift up the back of it, that whole thing closes up because I don't have anything here for strength and I don't have anything here. So the whole quarter panel is just doing whatever it wants. And when I cut it off the frame, I don't want the whole thing to just sag down and it's all kink way out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make this quarter panel. I went ahead and tacked the two pieces together where it was split, uh, made me a paper template. And then I'm gonna cut this out of metal and make all these pieces separate and start welding it up. Um, again, this is just gonna be something quick. I'm not gonna finish it all, finish weld it all and grind it and stuff today. I just wanna get it on the car so I can get the car cut loose of the frame. I figured if I had to make a support, I might as well try to make a quarter panel. I'm not a really talented metal fabricator. And hopefully once it's on the car, I can trace it and reverse it to the other side. Hopefully. It came off. But the big question, how long how long is it? It is shockingly not bad at all. Wow. So this is my quarter panel that I made. I can tack this onto the car and it'll help hold that shape. So I think that's what I'm going to do now is get that car lowered down and get this cut and tacked into place. It is not beautiful, but it will work with just basic tools. You can see, I just gotta finish welding all that up, cutting butt as much as I can, hammer and dolly to smooth it out, and it won't be bad at all. Holy cow, those DeWalt cutoff wheels were not cutting at all. I got a little bit of overhang left, but that's fine. I'm going to overlap the panel, kind of tack it in place, and then mark it, take it back off, and then uh, trim it, and then still overlap it a little bit, tack it in place, and leave it, and then cut and butt it later. Because, again, I'm just trying to get this quarter panel to stop buckling down. Which, that reminds me, I should probably prop it up with something, huh? <laughs> Whew. All right, let's get this welder drug over here and get a couple tacks on this. See what we can do. Damn. The day kind of got away from me here. It really wasn't what I was going to do. That's okay. It's still progress. We'll be positive. Positive progress. It's not that important right now.
to protect is right here in the middle of it. long ones. But the long ones usually twist and don't work. Turn that off for a sec. Yeah, these long ones, they usually just twist on themselves and don't connect anything. so I can tack it in a better spot. <laughs> Oops. Oh yeah, that's not too bad. I gotta trim this down a bit. So I can mark that and trim that as well. Hopefully I wasn't blocking all of that just now. It is not looking too bad. I'll get that trim to get it tacked on. really don't think that that turned out too bad honestly I've got it was rusty and dented really bad it was dented really bad here and really rusty here so I've got to make that patch going around the corner get my thumb out of there my middle finger out of the way there but the transition is not hateful but I'm pretty happy with that and I don't know if it'll show very well down the quarter panel it's pretty straight I have no complaints with this hackery that I've pulled off here. So, that is pretty sweet. Positive. Let's see if I can get a better, better look at it. Like I said earlier, I'm jam packed in here, so. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. It's gonna be good. I really hope you guys enjoyed that one. Uh, the video was actually super long. It was like a half an hour, but it was mostly me undoing clamps and cutting metal and making noise. And there was a lot of echo in the shop. It just did, it wasn't good. So I cut out a lot of the fat on that one. Uh, it came out to be a little bit of a shorter video probably, but I think it's for the best. Um, 
yeah we're on the lift that's important big stuff next time for sure i mean we got big stuff done this time i'm again i'm happy with the uh, the progress i made even though it wasn't what i intended on doing today i'm glad that i did it because you know it's cool to see some shape return to this car and metal return to this car so keep your eyes out for the next one it, we're going to start seeing some really cool stuff in the next few videos. It's going to be nonstop, like good progress. No more, you know, welding corners into the quarter panels for, you know, two videos in a row or redoing the rockers for the hundredth time. I think it's all good forward momentum now. I'm really, really excited about it. I'm going to clean up my mess and I'm going to get out of here and I will see you guys next time. Thanks again for watching as always.